Happy. I'm a little surprised to see you here. I mean, I know that you and Beth aren't exactly close. Well, that was a long time ago, Olivia. And when people come back from the dead, they usually come back a lot nicer. How dare you interrupt my party? I didn't know about your party. But now that I do, I think I'll stay. Oh, no, you won't. As a matter of fact, I think I should have been put on the VIP list. Are you out of your mind? No. But you were. And if it weren't for me, you'd still be Lorelei Hills gallivanting about the streets of Chicago. You know something? You're absolutely right. So if you want to welcome me home, knock yourself out. Eat, drink, and enjoy the sights. Hello. Hello. <laughs> You're welcome. I said I'll throw another party for Beth. Well, now that we know that she is Beth. There she is. She's over there. Alan? God, I found you. I'm so... I um, went to your house, but Maida said you guys would be here. Yeah, what's, what's the matter? I need to find Tony. I'm so sorry to do this to you guys, but it's so important that I find him. Hey, is something wrong? I really don't think we should get into it here. Is this something to do with Catalina? Last time I looked, you two were at each other's throats. Yeah, I know. Catalina and I, we, we don't get along. But Danny, if I don't find Tony, this could affect him for the rest of his life. Well, you got to give me a little more than that. A retreat, and Tony wants to see him. <laughs> Why? Look, we don't know for sure, but we think that Tony was having doubts about marrying Catalina. I'll track him down. Thank you. Okay? Yes. And I'll call you when I find out something. Where are you going to be? Um, I will be at the dorm. <laughs> Why don't you give me your number? Don't worry about it. I'll call you. Don't worry, don't worry, okay? Thank you, guys. I owe you big time. Okay. Thank you. Try and track Tony down. Okay, well, okay. Uh, I'll go mingle. Okay. Catch up with you later. Am I ruining her? <laughs> nice. Of course. Excuse me. Hello, Evan. Enjoying the party? About as much as you are. I'm very happy to be here. Beth is my friend. Well, how wonderful for her to belong to that very small club. Well, it's having the right friends that's important. Okay. It's quality, not quantity. I have Alan Spaulding. Yes, and let's hope you'll have more luck with Alan Spaulding than you did with either Richard or Josh Lewis. With Alan, I have a man who will give me anything I want. Except for a place on that ridiculous lighthouse committee. Small town. People talk. Oh, come on, let me face the facts. Why would anyone settle for you when they can have a golden couple on a silver platter? Carpetbaggers. Everyone's a sucker for an ex-royal. Well, if you played your cards right, you'd be an ex-royal, too. Oh, you're so right. But I have my excuse, Edmund. What's yours? Wonderful. I am ready to party. Thank you. Is everything okay with you and Ross? Nope. How do I look? Hmm? Reckless play. <laughs> That's how I feel. Alert the media. You're in for a show. Enough, Blake. I'm gonna get you some food. Oh, food is for mortals. <laughs> oh, please, it's a party. Red flag, Blake. Oh, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna get you a plate of food, and when I come back, I want you to tell me what the hell is going on between you and Ross, okay? 
attention. Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have everyone's attention just for a moment, please. Well, I'm glad to see everyone is enjoying themselves, but I would like to take this moment to propose a toast to the guest of honor this evening, to Beth Rains right. and her triumphant return. And to the agent who rescued her, true love. Hopefully, the next time we gather to honor her, it will be at the wedding to my son, Philip. I have a little toast of my own. It's a, a chaser to the fairy tale. So listen up, it's going to be good. Lorelei, whoever you are. <laughs> are you happy to be home? Yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> home, sweet home. <laughs> sometimes it's not so sweet, right? You know, sometimes it's enough to split a girl in two. <laughs> but then, hey, there's more chances for a girl to love, right? That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> no, it's That's not. Enough. I just got started, all right? <laughs> well, hey, the honeymoon period. <laughs> It doesn't last, but it's really nice, isn't it? Like, come on, here's to good intentions. Here's to love. That, that thing that little girls dream about, <laughs> that writers write about, mm -hmm. and that some of us feel so lucky to have. But then the lies start, right, Mother? And all you're left with is the dream. So, oh, Beth, congratulations for finding your way back to Philip when so many of us tried to keep you apart. <laughs> I mean, my friend Harley tried, right, Harley? Didn't work. <laughs> so, enjoy your happiness while you have it, because um, it doesn't last. <laughs> Nothing good ever does. Hey. What? <laughs> Take care of her. Thanks. I'm so, you look like you could use a drink. Really? Yeah. You look like you could use a muzzle. <laughs> what manners? He has a membership. I would never display myself like that. No, of course you wouldn't, Carmen. To your credit, you have always displayed impeccable manners, even when stabbing someone in the back. Have I ever stabbed you? No. I remember a few ropes and chains, but. I was never so foolish as to turn my back on you. Except for when you left me rotting in that jail. But who's keeping score? Anyway, you're making it up to me tonight. And the night is young. <laughs> Excuse me while I go exert some social leverage. I would like in return. Mm, poor Blake. You know, if that's how she behaves in public, you might want to consider losing her lighthouse gal invitation in the mail. You know, that's what I like about you, Olivia. So much warmth and compassion. Maybe that's why Maida doesn't want you to represent the lighthouse project. Well, now, why would she want little old me when she could have a gorgeous former prince and his little plastic princess? You're funny. You're so funny. Don't worry, yeah. Cassie, it won't last. I mean, right now, everyone's treating you like royals, but sooner than later, you'll just be that couple formerly known as Prince and Princess. How is it? I mean, how is it adjusting to losing everything? I didn't lose anything, Olivia. I'm back here with my family and my friends. Oh, Thank I know, you. but what about Richard? I mean, what about him? Do you... How long before he resents you in this teeny little town? I mean, do you really think he's going to be content singing show tunes somewhere like his brother before him? 
Well, you know, I just might have better luck with the standards than old Eddie Ivory's. Good point. Mm. Hi. How are you adjusting to life in Springfield? Fine. Everyone's been terribly kind. And you? Good. Better than ever. It's good. It's good that I can learn how to take care of myself and not rely on a man to give me what I need. 